hello guys welcome you all in a new video and this video is totally dedicated for the consumers who is using samsung android smartphone of any series like a series j series m series any series of samsung android smartphone if you're using and if your phone is locked due to forgotten pin pattern and password lock then after hard reset or factory data reset when you will switch on your phone you will get a such type of display where you will get a welcome pop-up language option start button emergency call and here you can see at the top of the left corner of the phone you will get a, a notification of lock okay so let's check what happened uh, after hard reset when you will go through all the process with your handset of samsung android smartphone so let's check what happened to your phone here after hard reset go to the next So here you can see after factory data and hard reset it's again asking your pin pattern and password lock but here you will get another option that is showing here use my google account instead when you will tap on this option you will switch to a new page and here you can see the new page is asking your uh, gmail id and password so if you have remember your gmail id and password what you had applied with your new phone new handset to log in with your new gmail id and password then you can easily feed your gmail id and password and go through the next option but if you don't have your gmail id and password you can see here you are not getting any skip option in this space and this lock is known as generally frp lock which is generated by google to secure a smartphone when your phone is stolen so if you are not getting here a skip option and if you are not remember your gmail id and password so you need to frp bypass of your samsung android smartphone and for this uh, video is very helpful would be very helpful to bypass your frp lock so let's start this video and bypass your frp lock of your samsung android smartphone without uh, any help of pc so first of all you will have to reach to the starting page here you can see here this is the starting page you will have to make some changes first of all you will have to change your language from english india to english us then after go to the ok now after that you will get an option that is showing your emergency call you have to tap on this one and you have to dial a code that is a star has zero star has when you will dial this code star has zero star has you will switch to a new page okay it will take some time so don't worry at all so here you can see you will switch to a new page here you will get a lots of option but here you will get an option that will show here sensor you have to tap on this you will get some synchronizing option on your phone display here you will get an option that will show here gyroscope sensor and here you will have to tap on this display when you will tap on this display option you will get some data on your phone's display here you will have uh, you will have to wait for minimum 20 data maximum there is no limit but here you will have wait for minimum 20 data here okay so wait until you get 20 data on your phone display So here you can see the minimum 20 data has been appeared on my phone display after that simply you have to go to the back option and reach to the starting page again okay. Now after that you have to tap on this start option go to agree to all and agree here go to more and agree from here. Now here in this space where the Wi-Fi network is showing here you will have to activate your phone's talkback option and for this you will have to press the volume up button and the power button press hold and release to activate your talkback now tap on this use and do the same here now here you will have to draw a opposite l like this double tap on this while using the app now double tap in tap on this uh, use voice command open google assistant open settings now when your setting option will appear on your phone display simply first of all you will have to switch off your talkback option and you will have to repeat the process again now you are on the setting page option you can see here you will get a lots of option on your phone display but you have to scroll down and come to the option that will show here lock screen when you will tap on this lock screen option the first option will show here screen lock type and here you will see uh, it's showing swipe but when you will tap on this option here you can see it's not working so don't worry at all uh, you will have to scroll line and come to the option that will show here fingerprint simply you have to tap on this you will get a such type of display here simply you have to tap on this continue and you will have to repeat the process five time one two three four and five okay 
now after that go to the back option now the second option you can see here showing here face recognition you will have to repeat the same you have to tap on this option five times four and five now after that go to the back option here you have to tap on this about lock screen option and when you will tap on this about lock screen option you will get a new option that will show here open source license you have to tap on this option you will get a lots of text on your phone display but here you will get a url simply you have to copy this url from here okay now copy from here go to the back option now go to the back now there is nothing to change in your setting option simply you have to exit from this setting phase here now go to the back option and again back and start the process again go to agree to all and agree go to the more and agree now you have to tap on this add network option here you have to go to the option that will show here setting okay now in this page first of all you will have to reset this page and reset the keyboard setting firstly now erase the personalized redirection go to the back option here now here again you have to change the language what you had applied the first page you have to again here switch on the english us and off this english india go to the back now here you will get an option that will show here text shortcut you have to tap on this one and you will get a add option add this one and here you will have to paste that url what you had copied in the settings page okay now here you will have to type that ussd what you had applied the cost of the video okay now add go to the back option from this page now the last thing you have to change in this page that is layout here you will have to tap on this button and symbols and from default you have to change to alternative and apply from here when you will apply you will switch to back page you can see here and you have to go to the exit and come to the starting page now my friend all the settings has been done let's check either your frp lock has been bypassed or not so simply you have to tap on this start option agree to all go to the agree go to more and agree from here now you have to tap on this next option So after that you have to choose this don't copy now my friend you can see here now you are getting here a skip option it means your phone's frp has been completely bypassed you can easily tap on this skip option and skip this frp log phase now uh, here you will have to use a new pin pattern and password before your phone uh, switch on so use a new pattern log according to your uh, Okay, now go to the OK. Now it's a simple setup of your handset. After the bypass your FRP lock, you can easily set up your phone as usual. So it will take some time. And finish so here you can see your Samsung Android smartphone has been completely pin pattern and password unlocked and FRP bypassed so if this video helped you to bypass your FRP lock of your Samsung uh, handset then do the like this video and if you have stuck anywhere in this method then make us comment we will definitely help you uh, after your comments so thank you so much